Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you a bunch of stationery that I bought myself from JetPens because today is my birthday. If you're watching this on the day that it's uploaded, which is May 13th, I'm turning 17. Heck yeah. Also, it might be some sort of stress-related response to AP testing, which is not a great habit, but we'll just keep moving right along. So first of all, I got myself some of these Kuretake Zig metallic calligraphy markers in the colors silver and metallic black. These calligraphy markers have an italic style nib, which is like a giant flat thing, so you can do lettering in an italic style. Most of the calligraphy I do is a modern style, which is the cursive style that you're used to seeing from me, but also this year I want to learn how to do black letter and other more traditional calligraphy styles. Next, another calligraphy supply I got were some Royal and Langnickel Zen watercolor brushes. And I got quite a few different sizes to branch out since before I had only been using sizes 2 and 4. Next, since I recently ran out of page flags, I got some new ones in these 12 pretty colors. These are the Stalogy Thin page markers. I also got some brush pens, so first of all I got two of the new colors of the Tombow Dual brush pens, since I believe they released some new colors in 2019. The colors I got were Bright Blue and Pink Punch. I also got a new colorless blender from the Tombow Dual collection. I seem to have misplaced mine, and it's also probably kind of old and disgusting at this point. Here's a little demo of how I would blend colors together. These two colors don't quite match, but if you'd like to see a better tutorial, I'll link one I did on the JetPens YouTube channel in the eye and in the description. The other brush pens that I got were some more colors of the Royal Talons Ecoline brush pens. I really like these brush pens. They're very flexible and the ink is just so juicy. It's watercolor, so it's very liquidy and bleeds through pages a lot, but it just creates this really beautiful gradient effect. This set is the pastel set with five really pretty pastel colors. Next to use along with my brush pens, I got some paper, and this is the Canson XL marker pad. Not much to say besides that it's paper and it works really well with brush pens to prevent bleed through, and I really like to use it for blending as well since it's so smooth. Also, I recently used up a ton of glue sticks, so I got a new one. This is the Kokuyo Glue, G-L-O-O -O glue stick. Here you can see me struggling to figure out how to open this glue stick, whoops. Honestly, the only reason I bought this was because I looked at the pictures on the product listing and it looked huge, and I don't know why, but I found that so entertaining, so now I have my own giant glue stick. I also got some more folders to use for papers, since I mine just keep disappearing, I don't know where they're going, but I got these Kokuyu clear folders in the A4 size. Also, it seems that I just keep running out of things at this point in the semester, but I also used up all of my old acrylic paints, so I got some Knicker poster color paints in the primary colors, black, white, and purple. I read a blog post on the JetPens blog, and I'm still not quite sure what the distinction is between acrylic paints, poster color, watercolors, and everything, but I thought I might as well try these out and see how I like them. Lastly, I also thought it was high time to replace my disgusting old grimy palette that I've had since first grade, so I got this Heritage Arts palette. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you'd like to see more videos about stationery or lettering tips or anything at all, I'll link as much as I can in the description. I also upload new videos every Monday, and my Instagram is at studyquill if you'd like to check that out. See you next time!